Hi guys, it's Belle here and I am back with day 22 of Junk Journal January hosted by Meg Journals. In collaboration with Get Messy Art, I will link the link to both of those down below. And today's prompt is a bookshelf. Now, I love books. I read all the time. So I was quite excited about this one, but it's always the ones I'm really excited about that never end up the way I think it's going to. So I'm going to do op opposite day 17. And what I did last night, because I didn't want to do this on camera, is I used some uh, vintage graph paper actually to create my own bookshelf. Um, it's very, very basic. I think I want to do some decoration. I haven't shaded that bit in yet, but I possibly will. And that's going to go on this page. However, I need to get my pencil actually, because it's going to go on here. And I'm going to have a line here and just kind of draw a line. And you'll see why in a minute. So what I'm going to do with this bookshelf is I'm actually going to cut it. I know it seems strange, but there is a method to my madness. Now I need to work out where I'm going to cut it actually. So I think I'm going to cut it here. So this is why the grid paper is really good. And then I'm going to move along. Move along. And then up here or over there. So I'm trying to cut it along where the books are and back along here up there like so I know I've gone very quiet we all know I go quiet when I'm concentrating along here and up here and that will do so we've got the two halves now and this one is going to stick down there and then this one is going to go on top but the first thing I need to do with this one where did I put it hold on guys I have to grab some paper So the first thing I need to do is back this onto some paper. Hello, Topaz. Not right now, darling. No, not right now. Sorry. I need to back it onto some paper, but I need to leave enough space for um, a hinge. That's what. That's the word I'm looking for, guys. A hinge. I don't know how this is going to look. Okay, it may, I may, Topaz, you're knocking everything down with your tail, sweet girl. She's particularly clingy today. I'm thinking she knows we're taking her back to the vets tomorrow. <laughs> um, hopefully for the final time. It's been going on almost a month now, so I really am hoping this will be the final time she has to go back. That she'll be given the all clear it's been quite a worrying time okay I'm trying to make sure this goes down straight because obviously it has to match up with this one so now let's cut this out I'm just gonna roughly cut it right now and then I'm going to bend the hinge where did that ruler gone go like so I just wanted to give this a bit more make it a bit sturdier because it's obviously on really flimsy graph paper so I wanted that sturdier let's ink around the edge of this just to 
get rid of that white edge there and there. And I will probably ink around this one too. So yeah, it's been far too long <laughs> drawing this um, bookshelf. But I had in my mind this is what I want to do. So yes, if you don't know, I am a massive reader. It's probably my second favourite hobby after crafting. In fact, they're pretty much equal. Um, and last year I ended up reading 198 books, guys. Now that might sound a lot, but I read everything from middle grade to graphic novels. Um, and I listen to a lot of audiobooks because I listen to audiobooks when I'm crafting. So, you know, you can get through at least two or three audiobooks a day, a week sometimes that way, depending how long they are. You know, I like the ones that say they're only nine hours, but I do listen to some that are 15 hours or longer. So, let's ink this way too a little bit. So what I'm going to do, the reason I put this line here is because I want to decorate a little bit on here and I don't want it poking out. So I want to, I've got some fun bright colours because for me, reading is all about, um, I suppose, escapism. Like it's all about, not always. But it's all about just adventure. I have always been a reader my whole life. There have been periods where I've read more than other times. Like there have been years, especially when my children were little, that I read a lot of children's books because I was reading to my children. Where is that line gone? There it is. But actually for myself, I might have only read five books that year because the children were little, you're working... I mean, it's just finding the time. And audiobooks weren't as easy to get hold of then either. So there was that. Um, that can actually be torn a little bit more. Um, and then there were times where I might have read more. And this year, definitely, I've read more than I have in many, many previous years. I want to stick that down first. I'm going to stick lots of things on top of it so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, so Topaz, are you sit? Sorry, darling, but I think you're sitting on my glue. Did you knock it off? Topaz, excuse me. She's going to get very, very grumpy with me, guys. Hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Those of you who have cats will know that when they want your attention, they really want your attention. And they get exceedingly grumpy. <laughs> I mean, right now she's sitting on top of my sewing machine, which is right beside me here. And she's knocking over all the papers with her tail, which she's swishing in a very annoyed manner. Because I said no at the moment. She has had lots of cuddles today, guys. So, you know, it's not like she hasn't. Um, but she obviously... Is wanting a lot more so yes yeah, so the other part of the bookcase will go on here like that so this is here and then I'm looking I cut out some books as well so this is actually a book that I have on my TBR my to be read pile this year so I'm thinking I'm gonna put that there I've just got loads of these weird images out of magazines because I don't know, when you're reading, like I said, it's a bit like escapism. And, um, yeah, I also want to decorate the inside of this. So I think I'm going to decorate the inside of this first because then I'll know roughly what this looks like books as well. Oh, I've stuck that down and I needed to do it on there. Okay, so we're going to stick the whole thing onto here. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, yeah. Um, so, as I was saying, I love to read. I will read almost anything that catches my attention. I really don't care about age range. I don't care about, like, whether it's a graphic novel or not. I 
I don't like really chunky books. I will say that. Like, I look at them and go, oh, my gosh. Um, but I have read, like, I suppose 600 is the most I've read in a long time. But that is rare. Um, and I like to read not just for escapism. I mean, that's always fun. But I like to read a mixture. So I like to read books, non-fiction books that teach me things. I like to read um, from lots of different uh, authors and things like that. But obviously, I have my favourite kind of books. And my favourite books are mysteries, particularly cosy murder mysteries and if you've been here a while, say it with me, Agatha Christie. Um, I also love sort of witchy books, historical, huge historical, um, both fiction and non-fiction reader, but that's no surprise with a history degree. Um, I, quite, I love science fiction, actually. Science fiction was probably... One of my favourite um, genres as a teenager. And I remember just reading everything kind of science fiction or dystopian I could get my hands on. Uh, most memorably, um, Handmaid's Tale. I think I was about 13 when I picked that up um, in my school library. And Isaac Asimov and all those kind of people. And De La Triffids and War of the Worlds and all that kind of thing. Also like a good classic as well. I really do like a good classic. Um, so, you know, 18th and 19th century work. I will read just about anything, guys. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if I want to put a cat in here. Because, you know, I love my cats. But I might have that on the outside. I'm wondering, sort of... I just want some weird images, I think, on here, because I want it to be odd. Because when you're reading, as I said, you can read all sorts of things. The only genre that I don't really read a lot of or is kind of my least favourite is um, romance. I'm just not that these look so much fun. I'm just not a romance reader, really, in any sort of, like, I don't even like it in my cosy mysteries. It irritates me when, in a cosy mystery, someone always suddenly, like, there's a romantic plot. And I'm just like, why? We, we, di we didn't need it. Um, maybe it's just me. I'm not the most romantic person in the world anyway. Um, so maybe it's just me. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like romances and I'm not huge on a lot of the contemporary fiction. Like people really love Sally Rooney and being Irish, you would think I would. But unfortunately, I think I'm now going to stick this down. I just can't get on with Sally Rooney's books. And I think what it is, is that... Um, they tend to be a lot of younger people, like 20s coming out of uni or early 30s having a 30s midlife crisis. Like, I'm just not interested in that kind of thing. I'm just, yeah. It's great when you find books with older protagonists in. And I think I've always enjoyed that. I think it is because... I'm just not really into the kind of drama that comes with being 20 <laughs> or even 30. I wasn't even at that age. Like, yeah, it just, yeah, it's just something I can't really relate to. Not that you have to relate to every book. I love these images on here. And one of my favourite books last year was... Um, the Adventures of Amina al Sarafi, which is a pirate book about a female pirate and mystical creatures. And oh, it was amazing. Uh, I am hoping the second one's coming out this year. 
because I love that book so much. And it took me com by complete surprise. I don't mind the odd pirate book, but it's not something that realistically I read a ton of. Um, and I was really surprised by how much I loved it. Like it's one of the books I've thought about all year. It really is. It's in my top 10 of the year. If any of you are also readers and interested, um, I do have a book Instagram, which is linked down below. And I did do a little, um, did do a little, what's it called? Post on there about my top 10 of the year. Um, so yeah, that was an amazing book. Oh, loved it took me by complete surprise and I love it when a book can do that love it when a book surprises me um this is another book I've got on my TBR for this year there was a book Topaz have you knocked that down sweet girl I had a little cut out of some books as well oh and I wanted to put one of these on here because I do love um myth retellings including where did that book go to greek myth retellings i have no idea i had a little stack of books that i cut out and put somewhere and now i cannot find it for the life of me okay um yeah so this is another book that's on my to read um pile this year Oh gosh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I just finished actually Divine Might by Natalie Haynes. I absolutely love her fiction and her non-fiction. And this was a non-fiction um, focusing on some of the Greek goddesses that we um, know and, you know, or don't know. You know some of it where is that bookcase i need to find out i need to put stuff in other places okay so can go there. yeah so it um she's talking all about the furies and hera and um the muses she is i believe a classically trained so, you know, does know her stuff. It wasn't as good, I have to say. It was not as good as um, Pandora's Jar, which is another non-fiction book of hers, which I absolutely loved. Like, I, oh, especially the chapter on Medusa. It's quite heartbreaking, really. But, yes, yeah, so I love Greek myths, and I think part of that's because I spent a lot of my childhood living in Cyprus, where you are surrounded, obviously, by Greek myths and things like um, Aphrodite's Rock and uh, the Temple of Apollo. I used to play around the Temple of Apollo all the time as a child because it was near a beach that we used to go to. And at that time, you could just kind of run around the um, ruins Um and oh my gosh, the lizards there are amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a special space in my heart and a special interest in kind of mythology as a whole, but particularly Greek mythology because um, I know a lot of the places or the stories and things like that it's really bothering me guys i cut out this stack of books and now i cannot for the life of me find it and that's really annoying me so hold on do you know what guys i just can't find it i'm gonna blame topaz i think she um <laughs> i think she's knocked it off on purpose but that's okay uh yeah so as i was saying greek myths love myths of all sorts um, but the Greek myths, I think, um, are just something that I grew up surrounded by. 
so you know when you've swam around Aphrodite's rock repeatedly <laughs> as a child um, you kind of hello again Topaz She's just in one of those moods today. She's really, really clingy. I swear she can tell we're taking her to the vets tomorrow. Um, yeah, anyway, so love the Greek myths and I particularly love Natalie Haynes. I usually, even though I have all the books, listen to hers on audio because she narrates them herself. And considering they're in Greek, and she does, especially in the non-fiction ones, she actually um, um, translates the Greek for you. She tells you the ancient Greek and then translates it. Um, it's really just great to be able to hear it as it's meant to be. Uh, yeah, so I just finished Divine Might. Oh, the chapter on Demeter, guys. Again, it just broke my heart. You know? Anyway. So I love books. All that to say, I absolutely love books. Um, and, yeah, if you like books and you're interested in what I'm reading, I wasn't great at keeping up on my Instagram last year, craft or book. But I'm making a really concerted effort this year to make sure that I keep up on it. I've just dropped my glue now. Um, so if you are interested, go along and you will be able to see. I'm sticking this right down. What I have been reading. Or what I've picked up. Okay, so that's going on like that. So that should close... That's not going to stay closed. I'm going to have to put something on there. But you get the idea. We've got the bookcase. It's a bit like Narnia with the wardrobe. You've got the bookcase. And when you open it up, there's just all sorts inside a book. All sorts inside it. So I need a little clip. Where are all my clips? I need a little clip. Sorry, guys. I was just grabbing one from behind me to hold this down because I also have this image of a lady and I want her to look like she's about to push the door almost that way even though it opens that way we're going to have her pushing it the other way and then I have this book with uh, books with a cup of tea Maybe I could put them there because I love a cup of tea with a book. I do have my cat. That cat's ridiculously large now, isn't it? I do want to put it in here, though, because wherever, because I also have a thing about reading. <laughs> this is really specific and weird niche that I have. I love reading. Um, cat books about either just random stories but I particularly love reading real life cat stories uh, like Dewey the library cat I've read that one um, got one called um, a friend like Ben or something like that which is all about how um, this family got a cat and it really befriended their autistic son um, that's gonna go there I will always have a cup of tea with my books um, hello again Topaz where did my lady go is she inside sweetheart I really really I'm so sorry guys hold on sorry I just had to get her down she's just getting a little bit upset well annoyed rather that I won't um, give her the attention she wants so after I filmed this I'm gonna and you can bet as soon as I sit down after filming this and call her over to get a lot of affection she'll be like yeah I'm not interested now like I wanted to do it while you're on camera because 
you were doing something that didn't involve me. And I'm a cat. So, yeah, I want her kind of pushing. So as if she's pushing inwards, even though it opens outwards, because she's getting lost in a book. I don't know. That's what it is to me. And we're going to have the number up at the top. Have I got another two? <gasps> I don't think I've got another two on here. How absolutely annoying. Have I got, uh, I've got a couple of twos on there. All right. Maybe up here would be good. Just there. Double check that it is 22. Yes. So let me know down below if you're like me and you love to read. Uh, I doubt I'll get 198 books read this year. Last year, I don't know. I just, and we were doing a lot of traveling last year. So I was reading as I was traveling and things. Uh, still annoy me. I can't find that stack of books, even though there's nowhere I'm supposed to put it. Right. And obviously I add words normally. Well, I'm adding words to every page. So I just pulled out my Tim Holtz clip it. There it is. Literally, it was in the clip it's guys. I mean, honestly. That's going to cover up some of that stuff. I don't want it covering up everything. It's covering up that arm completely now. No, I like it as is. I told you. Um, I'm going to add some words. Now, I was going to write them, but I'm just going to add them randomly to the bookcase. So we've got the word story. Obviously, the word story has to go on here. On that book. We have... Um, I thought discover would be a good one because like you know you discover lots of different things when you are reading discover I do love non-fiction so I can educate myself on things that I don't know as well um imagine because you know it's imagination Uh, maybe here. Oh, that hasn't gone on very well. Um. Ooh, let's have a look. Definitely adventure because it's always an adventure reading because you never know what you might laugh I love a good book that makes you laugh like I'm thinking I might put this one up here like this so I love a look good book that makes you laugh uh wish I had cry on here I love a good book that makes me cry uh ba 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 Uh, words. Um, world, because, yeah, again, I love to read books where I can travel the world and find out more about people. Um, what do I want? World adventure. Inspire. Have I got inspire on here yet? No, I haven't. Definitely. There are books that inspire me. I'm going to just trim that a little bit so it fits. <laughs> so it fits in my bookcase. <laughs> oh dear. Inspire. Oh, there are some authors who, honestly, guys, their works oh, 
the 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 words are so so beautiful that it's like getting pulled into a whole other world and it's like poetry it's like listening to um a poem that swifts you along and you forget where you are treasure i think i want the word treasure because i do think books are treasure here we could have it there like that treasure and i'm thinking i want a small word for here maybe uh la -ba 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 -ba. We've got, got right or word. Life. Just enjoy. I suppose just enjoy because I like to enjoy my books. Like I see no point in reading a book that I'm not enjoying. So I do what they call a DNF. I do not finish books. If I just I'm not enjoying them because what is the point? That's how I feel. I know some people are funny about DNF in books, but life is too short, guys. Like honestly, and there's so many books out there. So, so here we go. This is bookcase. So we've got all these words of how I feel about books and the things that you can do, and then it looks like she's looking into the bookcase and pushing it forward. And then when we open, we've got all these things. We could even put more in here, couldn't we? Um, inspiration, maybe. Yeah, we can put more words in here. Because then it follows on from here, doesn't it? Um, memories. Ugh. Oh, I have so many memories of amazing books. And... Um, Mm, journal, I suppose. Courage. Ah, oh, some of the non-fiction I've read and the courage of those people in it. Okay, I think that'll do. So, yeah, so she's looking at the bookcase. She's about to go in. She opens it up and here we have some of my favourite things. A couple of books on my TPR. Certain things that remind me, even though that's all uh, I know it reminds me of Amina El Serafi. This one, because of the ice, reminds me of Frankenstein, which is one of my favourite books of like all time. Uh, we've got books on my TBR, cat books, things to do with Greek myths, some sci-fi. We've got lots and like stars and magic. And then we close it up again, guys. And that is today's one. Oh, that made me a little bit, um, what's the word? Like reminiscent, I suppose. Anyway, and those words remind me of books, like they look like books on the bookcase. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you don't like books, you might not have liked to hear me ramble on about them. But also, if you follow me in other videos, you'll know I can ramble on about books. So it is what it is. So that is bookshelf, guys. Um, and yeah, I like the fact that there's some pink and blue here. And I've used pink and blue and yellow in these books. So it kind of blends together a bit more. Um, I will have to find a way of keeping that closed. I mean, it's fine like that, isn't it? But I did want it closed more. But still, it's fine like that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this, let me know what your favourite book of last year was, if you have one. I would love to hear that down below. And if you do like Pirates and Adventures and haven't read um, The Adventures of Amina El Serafi yet, I highly highly recommend both the audio and the physical book it was brilliant um so thank you so much for watching i will be back again soon and wherever you are in the world i hope you are having lots and lots of craft and bookish fun <laughs>